today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, Songbirds. Much of Ho Chi Minh City sounds like this. Revving engines, honking horns, and drivers politely telling each other to get the fuck out of the way. But there is one respite from the buzz of the city. Each morning by 6 a.m., Tao Don Park is packed with old men boasting flamboyant songbirds. But what happens here isn't as innocent as you might think. Literally every country has their own super popular bird sport. In the Philippines, it's cockfighting. But in Vietnam, it's something much more brutal. Brutally adorable, that is. Every morning? And why? Why they come here? The bird, the bird blazing, play. Ah, uh, the uh, chicken. Chicken? Um, uh, <laughs> like yeah. cockfighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But more nice. <laughs> These pampered songbirds fed only the finest bits of grasshopper are brought here to learn songs from each other. So the birds get to learn some new songs, but they're not learning something from Journey or Stairway to Heaven. No, they're learning bird songs. Once you hear their beautiful tunes, you'll want to stay here forever. Or at least like 10 minutes. How do you feel about learning new songs? This bird is not singing. Is it broken? So I know what you're asking yourself. Isn't every bird a songbird? Well, no, a penguin probably isn't. Uh, chickens make noise, but that's not really a song, is it? So I think Nobody knows for sure what makes a songbird, but it's definitely a bird that can fit into a cage and that a Vietnamese person would bring to a park. Every morning I take bird from here for exercise. Ah, the birds are exercising. Yes. This bird is intensely looking for a way to get out. Some of the birds are worth up to $10,000, especially if you would be willing to pay that much money for one. $100? Yeah, $100, $200, $500, $5,000. Oh, wow. That's a nice, nice bird. Yeah. You like birds? I like birds. After a couple hours of bird listening and coffee drinking, these men pack up their little musical buddies, ready to face the day. Unfortunately, the songbirds are not for eating, but we can all imagine how great they might taste. This is Sunny in Vietnam, signing off. No one even knew crickets got that big. I didn't, but there's a peanut in its stomach, which is fun. I mean, thorax, what's up biology, eighth grade, suck it. These are the questions in my head right now, why? Why did I make a show with a format where I eat things like this? Next question, is it gonna gush? Is it a crunch and a gush? Do you eat the whole thing? 